Hello everyone. In our last class, we discussed about the refraction of light. Refraction of light through the curved surfaces. Right? We discuss about the lenses, types of lenses, and uh, image formation with lenses. And we discussed the characteristics of images formed by lenses. And uh, we have discussed how to draw the ray diagrams and uh, we used and uh, a sign convention and we used the lens makers formula and the lens formula and we have find out it object distance, image distance, focal length, so and so, so and so. Right? Now, today we are going to start one more important topic from our 10th class physics that is human eye and colorful world human eye and colorful world right we know that when light fall on the object when light is fall on the object it reflects and reaches our eye the reflector ray is reaches our eye then only we can able to see the objects then only we can see the objects right is it is it is correct right then before going to discuss about our structure of eye right in this chapter we will discuss a structure of eye and eye defects and uh, disposition of light and scattering of light these are the topics we will discuss in this chapter right before discussing about the eye and its parts and its defects first we are going to discuss some interesting facts about our eye right then you can do one simple thing take a textbook take a textbook and keep a textbook in front of your eyes and try to read the try to read the lesson try to read the words which are given in book then you can able to read comfortably when you kept uh, the object uh, the book in front of your eye then after try to bring it closer to your eye try to bring the textbook closer to your eye and after keep it close to your eye and after try to read the sentences which are given in the textbook right once you try it when take a textbook and once you try it then keep it very closer to your eye and try to read it then you can able to read comfortably and how the letters from the textbook is appears how the letters can appear the letters which are printed in a textbook is appeared in blur the letters which are present in the textbook appears in blur when you keep it very near to your eye and you will get strained okay when we bring the textbook very closer to our eye and uh, try to read it when you are reading then the letters which are printed in the textbook is appears blurred and as well as and as well as you will get strain okay then after move back move the book back side from your eyes then keep it uh, back then bring it back from your face from your eyes to backward then until to get clear picture of words clear appearance of words okay bring the textbook from your eyes then away from the eyes and until to get a, a perfect presentation of letters okay and then you can try to read it then you can able to read 
perfectly and you won't get any strain got it when you are bringing very closer to it you feel a uh, strain and as well as letters appears in black and when you keep at a certain distance from your eye from your eye and you can able to read without strain and the letters can also appears very clearly okay and uh, then try to measure the distance from your eye and textbook try to measure this distance from eye to textbook right that distance that distance is called least distance of distinct vision right least distance of distinct vision got it then that vision is approximately this distance is approximately 25 centimeters 25 centimeters okay least distance of distinct vision of a human eye is 25 centimeters if you will keep the textbook 25 centimeters away from your eyes got it if you will keep the textbook 25 centimeters from from away from your eyes then you can able to see the letters which are printed in the textbook is very clearly without any strain if you will bring it closer to your eyes if you will bring it closer to your eyes then the letters appears in blur and as well as you will feel strain got it then the distance is called what uh, 25 centimeters and here this 25 centimeters is different for different different persons this is approximate a healthy a healthy person least distinct vision is 25 centimeters it may vary from person to person got it it may vary from person to person if see the young that means uh, who are in uh, below 10 years okay below 10 years they can able to see the object nearly 10 centimeters also nearly the uh, textbook if you will keep it near only 10 centimeters distance from is high then also they can able to see but we can't see the children who has a 10 or below they can able to see why because the muscles which are surrounded by the eye can flexible okay they have flexible and they can able to maintain they can able to capable to uh, wear the more strain also okay right then the children who have below 10 years they have 10 centimeters their least distance uh, distance of distinct vision may 10 centimeters also for the children right if uh, old age ones okay who have uh, more than 50 years approximately more than 50 years or more than 50 years those least distance of distinct vision may eat a uh, one meter or more one meter or more also okay why because the muscles which are surrounded by the muscles which are surrounded by the muscles or our flexibility will be decreased due to their age right so that's why their least distance of distinct vision can decrease sorry the least distance of dis distinct vision can be increased okay commonly a healthy person can able to see 25 centimeters then if you will bring the object below the 25 centimeters then from our eye 
we can able to keep the object 25 centimeters he can able to see right if you will bring it a uh, uh, closer to the 25 centimeters then the object or letters which are present in the book can becomes blur and we can get strain if you will keep away from it also they can able to see okay right this is called least distance of distinct vision children can able to see 10 centimeters distance the object also why because their muscles are flexible they can able to bear the strain okay right and uh, next here simple activity collect a few pieces of a pvc pipe okay and uh, with a different different uh, lengths are 25 centimeters 30 centimeters 40 centimeters 50 centimeters like that take different different lengths of a uh, pvc pipes and uh, take a retort to stand okay and uh, fix the pvc pipe to the retort stand which is approximately now i done it with 25 centimeters okay 25 centimeters and uh, see this pvc pipe from the other side from this side horizontally to the fixed point okay and observe this uh, pvc pipe which is having the 25 centimeters then while seeing the book don't change the position of the eye you have to see horizontally straight okay there is no change in the eye okay don't move the eye in upward don't do not try to see the object in upper upward portion or downward portion simply we have to observe we have to try to see the object without changing its position don't uh, rotate your eye okay up or down up or down. then simply we have to see it try to see the total length of the object okay then after keep it uh, then instead of 25 centimeters arrange 30 centimeters after 40 centimeters right then fix it a different different lengths of uh, objects to the retort stand and uh, try to see it we can able to see the complete object and one more thing try to keep this pvc pipe at 25 centimeters distance at a 25 centimeters distance for example here i kept it okay if you will bring it near to the 25 uh, below the 25 centimeters then we can't see comfortably why because we will get a strain it becomes blur why because our uh, muscles which are present uh, near uh, surrounded by our eye can can't uh, um, adjust its focal length right so due to that reason then let uh, this a and b when we can able to see the uh, complete object when we can see the complete object means when the light emitted from extreme points of the object when light is emitted from the extreme points of the object as to reach our eye okay got it the rays which are emitted from the extreme points of the object has to reach uh, reach our eye okay and if uh, you you we will uh, keep one more object same uh, length uh, a b i kept here i can able to see it this is first first case and the second case third case then keep it away from it we can able to see or not 
okay then like that we can able to see the object when the light is emitted from the extreme points of the object and here you have noticed one thing when the rays which are emitted from the extreme point of the object they are they are making some angle near our eye near our eye okay then you can try to bring the object a little bit closer to our eye now we can able to see see the total object no we can able to see the object a little bit portion for example a dash and b dash this portion of object only we can able to see it why sir means here the angle these two incident rays the two rays which are emitted from the extreme points will make an angle at our eye that will be 60 degrees approximately it proved that this is 60 degrees if the angle made by the rays near by our eye is 60 and below 60 then we can able to see the complete object all object complete height of the object okay we can able to see the whole object when the rays which are emitted from the extreme points are making the angle below 60 degrees how much rana 60 and below here if they can make more than 60 degrees if they can make more than 60 degrees for example here this array and uh, these two are making more than 60 degrees approximately you can feel that 75 degrees then we can't uh, see the complete object all object we can't see when we can able to see the angle has to make 60 or below the 60 right the object when we kept at a second position it is making below 60 degrees only then we can able to see the comfortably the whole object if i kept here this is also can making below 60 degrees then we can able to see the whole object got it right then this angle this angle is called as angle of vision angle of vision right angle of vision what is the angle of vision of a human beings I is 60 degrees right and like least distance of distinct vision like least distance of distinct vision the angle of vision also vary from person to person right this angle of vision also can vary from person to person okay right then in our class today's class we discussed two important values two important points one is least distance of distinct vision is 25 centimeters here 60 degrees sir why it is vary from person to person all right why it is vary from person to person we'll discuss in our next class got it thank you